back, you beautiful people. Some of you may know I am a massive fan of the hardtail. I think that this is the only bike you really need in your arsenal, in your garage, in your bedroom, in your living room, in your house. But what makes a hard hardtail, hardcore? Well, you can turn your ordinary hardtail into a hardtail. I'll explain all about hardcore. All coming up. The first thing I've done to make my hardtail more aggressive and a bit more hardcore is the wheels because it's the first point of contact in the dirt for a hardtail and you want them to be strong and that's probably one of the best things you can uh, upgrade on your ordinary hardtail is to a more aggressive stronger durable wheel set. So on the front, I've gone for a Spank 350 Vibracore with a 70mm low rim profile for maximum traction and reduced wheel deflection. And on the rear, I've gone for the Spank 359 Vibracore with a 19mm rim profile, giving me more enhanced responsiveness. You have 32 spokes on the rear and on the front. Now there's a Vibracore thing in there with the Spank, which is cool because it's a hardtail and there's gonna be a lot more vibrations out there on the trail that's gonna be coming from the ground through the bike and into me, fatiguing me out over a longer period of time. So to try and eliminate that is they've got this little foam, green foam insert within the rim, which is super sick and great technology for a rim. Uh, this is a 27.5 bike of mine. You can go 26, you can upgrade that. That, you can go 24, you can upgrade your wheels to a stronger one, even a 29er, get a stronger wheel on there as well. All right, enough of the wheels. What about the rubber on this bike? You want that to be durable. You want that to be gnarly. You want that to be aggressive. You want those tires to dig in the dirt and make it more hardcore. Well, I'm running the Vittoria Mazza tires. This is Enduro casing tires. So it's a stronger, thicker rubber compound tire on here. And uh, it's a 2.6 tire, 27.5, look at it, downhill case, enduro casing, really aggressive side nobbles, just making it look more gnarly for that hardcore riding. But a little secret, right, to make it even more hardcore is inserts. Yeah, I've got an airline in here, front and rear. That's a little foam insert inside the tire, tubeless, no tubes, tubeless, to make it a lot more hardcore when you're going through those rocky, rocky rock gardens. And I do hit a lot of rock gardens. Hardtails are prone to, to getting a puncture or two. Believe me, believe me. Let's move on. Yes, moving on to the front end of the rig. Now, if you've got a hardtail that is just fully rigid out to make it a hell of a lot more aggressive is by installing forks, suspension on the front. Now, if you do have a hardtail and it does have uh, suspension on the front, upgrading it a little bit more. Give it a little bit more travel, which I have done to this rig. I have put 170 mil of travel on the front end of my beast just to give me a lot more travel on the front. Because I ride this thing like a stolen. Uh-huh. I've done a few things on this bike and I really relied on that front end to be a little bit more plush, a lot plush, because there's nothing on the rear. So 170 mil of travel to make it more <laughs> hardcore, man. And it's red, it looks quick. Okay, with all that hardcoreness going on, you're gonna be going fast. So you need to uh, upgrade those brakes to make it a little bit more aggressive for all that stopping power. Now, if you're running, V brakes. Highly recommend you uh, upgrade to some uh, hydraulics. And if you can't afford hydraulics, then go to a cable actuated caliper with a disc. That's going to be a lot more aggressive out there. But if you do have hydraulics on your bike, then I would suggest you upgrade to a four pop brake, to a downhill spec caliper brake with a 203 rotor on the front and a 180 on the rear. But if you're feeling a bit crazy and a bit more gnarly, then uh, I would upgrade to a 203 on the rear as well. But if you're running a 160 on your bike, rotor size, go to a 180. Just remember, you're gonna have to uh, upgrade the little uh, spacer between the caliper and the disc so you can fit in a bigger disc anyway. Do your due diligence on that and uh, go to your heart's content with the size of brakes you can go with. I've got a 203 on the front and a 180 on the rear. Four pot Shimano SLX. 
nothing else. Ha, that's pretty hardcore. Right, anyway, making your hardtail a little bit more hardcore. If you don't have one, I highly suggest that you, you, you look into getting one. And that is a dropper post, because if you don't have a dropper post and you come to a bit of a sticky situation where it's a bit steep and a bit gnarly, and you want to get gnarly, get a dropper post. You can get that saddle from up, down, in seconds. And you can ride anything, anything, trust me. Imagine riding down a steep thing with a saddle up your bum. <laughs> That's going to be scary. Now my cockpit's pretty hardcore because I'm riding this thing like I've stolen it right down the trail through some rough, gnarly terrain and also doing some climbing. So I've gone for a very hardcore situation going on right here. This is a Spank Spike with 35 mil bar combo. It's a vibra core. Again, it's got that little foam insert inside there to stop all those vibrations coming into my arms and giving me some fatigue when I'm out there riding those gnarly things. And, uh, and I've got a a really short stem as well. Now, if you have a longer stem, shrink it down a little bit, get a little bit more aggressive. If you've got a narrower bar, widen it a little bit. I'm running 770 on here, widen it. Gives you a little bit more control when it comes to super rough stuff. When you have a narrow bar, it's very twitchy and horrible and you can't really ride it hardcore, okay? Yeah, again, aggressive cockpit is what you need to be a hardcore hardtail. But all of this comes with a price. Like if you're running a 25.4 mil bar, which is a really thin bar, maybe upgrade that to a 31.8 or a 35, for example. But when you do that, you need to upgrade your stem as well. So it's a combo, combination of hardcoreness to turn your hardtail into a bit more of a hardcore rig, dude. Yeah, all right. It doesn't matter what type of hardtail you have in your possession in between your legs when you're shredding down the trail, if it is a 27.5, a 26, a 24, or a 29er. Upgrading it to make it a little bit more capable on the trail, come on, it's a no-brainer. One thing that makes my hardtail way more hardcore is color. Red means anger, hardcore, but an essential thing for me is riding clips on a bike. Clipped into my rig makes me ride the bike way more hardcore than anything else out there. Now, it's not for everyone. Flat pedals, I love flat pedals. I run flat pedals all the time on my full suspension rigs. But when it comes to the hardtail, I clip in because I can ride it way more harder. And okay, at the end of the day, is all about the heart of the bike. And that is the frame that makes it hardcore. But it doesn't matter what bike you have. If you upgrade certain parts on your rig to make it a little bit more aggressive or hardcore or more capable, then hey, it's a hardcore hardtail. For me, I've got a nuke proof scout. This frame is low, it's nice, it's wide, it's long, it's hardcore. There you go, that's a few things that I've done to my rig to make it way more hardcore to ride some of the hardest stuff I can throw this bike at. And I ride it like I stole it, because I know it's capable and it is hardcore. All right, enough of that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. And I hope you are enjoying your hardtail, whatever bike you've got. Go have a good time on the trail. See ya.